Welcome to the second episode of Vintage Radio Reviews. Today's radio is a Philips B0X97U. One of the cheapest radios, if not the cheapest radio, Philips had to offer in the late 50s, early 60s model line. It is a very basic radio. It only has one band, medium wave. It has an internal antenna, which is only a plate antenna. Nothing more than an internal strip of aluminium, aluminium foil about over here. It has a volume control and a tuning control. The only luxury, between quotes, is a input for an antenna for an external antenna. I like the looks of it. It is very small. It has very modern styling for the day. It's light. You can easily put it anywhere. Again, this was this is one of those second radio sets for teenagers in their bedroom or for parents in their kitchens. All right. So, let's check out the reception capabilities. The sensitivity and the selectivity and the sensitivity to mains interference and other interference. The antenna in this one is a plate antenna, a square of aluminium foil on the inside, which is definitely not as good as a ferrite antenna. Um, it picks up a lot more interference, interference uh, but it is also a lot cheaper to produce, being just literal some foil stuck to the inside of the case. Nice, nice, nice. The tuning is a bit choppy. Not smooth at all. A lot of interference. I'm not particularly sensitive. This should be 918 Radio Monique, a very strong transmitter, at least to our current standards. Let's find it on the portable radio. Ah yeah, they just said Radio Monique. This is a strong transmitter, strong station, but it's just barely audible on the internal antenna. Using my hand as the external antenna, by coupling to the plate antenna, it just increases the noise. Alright, so the reception on the internal antenna is really, really quite bad. I am now gonna add this thing over here, one an active loop antenna with one EF80 tube. It has an internal antenna input, no ground input, but I'm just gonna put the ground lead over here under the radio so it uh, has uh, some capacitive coupling to the radio. I cannot hook up the earth because, well, there's no connection to it and the chassis is live at mains potential. Just you go over there. Never ever put any wires into there. That's already a lot better. You have to move the loop antenna. This is a French model. You have to move the antenna around for the best reception. Yeah, quite good. Completely acceptable. Can we have Radio Caroline maybe? Yes, quite acceptable. Not great, but good enough. 
So let's see if there are any other stations. Keep in mind it is daytime, nighttime reception is a lot better. Um, Alright, so sensitivity with the internal antenna is really bad. I can't, I can't, yeah, it's just bad. Back in the day, when these things were sold, you had domestic radio stations, national radio stations, with more than 100 kilowatts of antenna power. Those have all disappeared. So even though it was very unsensitive, you would have had reasonable, uh, reasonable reception. In the day it probably was just about acceptable and good enough for the people who wanted just a cheap radio to receive uh, the Dutch Radio 1 or whatever, the BBC World Service perhaps, all of those really really strong European coverage transmitters. Hmm, sensitivity. Let's see, can it even receive? Um, uh, next to Radio Monique on 918 kHz there is a small British radio station. Can we receive that one? This is Radio Monique. No, it cannot receive it. And I do think that's just because of the lack of sensitivity. So we cannot do the selectivity check. I do know that this is a very basic radio and it is likely not to be as selective as the other ones. So overall, um, yeah, we still have the sound quality to listen to. Honestly, it doesn't differ much from the almost double as expensive radio we have here, the B2X80U. Except, of course, being an uh, even smaller radio, the bass response is even worse, with an 80 1400 speaker, I think. Again, no bass response at all, quite bright, but I feel it's less aggressive than the radio below it. Still, not the greatest one to listen to, but good enough for background music. I'd rate it about a yeah, 6. So overall, I do really like this radio. Well, otherwise I wouldn't be having it. I wouldn't have it. But, yeah, um, with so many other radios to choose from, I tend not to use it that much because the reception... Uh, it really needs an external antenna for good reception, and the sound quality is just not not done that great. It can be tiring to to listen to for more than an hour if you listen to it more than an hour. Hmm. So the looks, I would give it an eight, just like the radio below it. The sound quality six. I cannot really check the selectivity, 
although it is likely going to be worse because it is an extremely simple radio, um, points will be deducted, so to speak, for these, this really crappy tuning dial. It does not have a tuning capacitor, it has, uh, what is it called, I don't know, uh, it has change, uh, it, tu it tunes by changing the in induction of a tuned circuit with a moving coil going into a uh, into a coil it's just, yeah it's fiddly, I don't like it and overall, nice radio I would maybe give it a 7.5 on a scale of 10 it mainly, I mainly have it because of its cute looks we will be back for a bit of evening listening after sunset It is now 7 o'clock, local time, about just over two hours past sunset, so the medium wave reception should now be a lot better. We're still connected to the external loop antenna, over there, so let's hear what we can hear. So, regarding the seductivity, I think this is Radio Monique. And this is Talk Sports right next to it. So, it's not bad selectivity wise. Okay, Ron, we're coming right back to you after the music from the Thrugs with a girl like you on Radio Monique 918 International and the Offshore. Yeah, not bad at all. I haven't yet found the source of the um, staticky sound. I think it is an idling, an idling power supply somewhere, switching power supply. Fairly sensitive, not bad at all. And let's do one more try without the external antenna. I think this is Ukraine radio, or it is a Russian station hiring transmitter time in Germany or something. On the internal antenna, barely anything. So that was the evening test of the Philips B0X95U.